Hi, my name is Larry Houchin. We're here at Larry's Boot Fitting in the People's Republic of Boulder, Colorado. Thanks for tuning in this morning. We're going to talk about a little boot fitting 101 and why ski boots fit differently than snowboard boots and why there's so much misconception about the way ski boots should fit. A couple things to know. Ski boots are tall, they're stiff, and they're angled forward. When you first slide your foot into a ski boot, you're going to feel some different sensations than you do when you slide into your van shoes, your flip flops, even your dress shoes. Ski boots have a thick padding inside the boot and a hard plastic shell. They've also got your hard foot on the inside and something's got to give. When ski boots are new, they almost feel restrictive, but bear with the boot fitter. If they're, do if they're doing the job they're supposed to do, they'll talk you through this. You slide your foot into the boot and stand up. They buckle the boot so that it holds your foot in place, but it's not too stiff. As you flex several times into the boot, it'll set your heel to the back of the boot Move your toes away from the front and put the wide part of your foot into the wide part of the boot, which is what the thing we're trying to achieve. When people measure your feet to fit you in a ski boot and they ask you the questions they should be asking you, how many times a year do you ski? What level of aggressiveness do you display when you ski? Where you're skiing? Are you skiing bumps mostly? Are you skiing groomers? Are you skiing the backcountry? All those are questions that you need to answer honestly and correctly to the boot fitter so they have some form of information to base their judgment on. When they slide you in the boot, they're looking to see if you can flex it to make sure that it's not too stiff for you, it's not too soft. We're also looking to see that the boot matches the shape of your foot so that you can use the boot correctly without any impingements or any tight spots. We also don't want the boot to be too loose. As it breaks in, it's only going to get worse. The reason we bring up that forward lean to start with, something that shows up in no other boot, is because when you stand up in a ski boot, the back of your leg acts as a lever. And it acts off the back of the ski boot, pressing your toes into the front and your heel out of the pocket. That's not the way the boot is meant to be used, is in a straight up and down or vertical position. It's meant to be used with your legs and ankles lightly flexed in the boot, so you match the shape of the boot to get your heel to the back. Now, the next thing we need to look at when we're fitting ski boots they get stiffer outside in the cold, and if you can't flex the ski boot inside, you'll never be able to flex it outside when it's cold. So as you're flexing in the boots, think of it as pushing with your knee forward and bending your ankle to support your knee as it goes forward, back and forth several times as you warm up the boot. Now, also pay attention to your feet in the boots, how the boot feels around your feet. In 10 minutes or so, the boot liners will warm up, and as that padding starts to compress, the boots will change in the way they fit from the first time you put your boot in the foot, foot in the boot. You want to make sure that your foot sits in the boot correctly, not too far back and not too far forward. It should sit with your heel back in the boot and your foot flat on the bottom. And you should not feel any compression or distortion in the shape of your foot as you're in the boot, but you also should not feel like the last pea in a pod in there. I hope that helps clear some things up. Although they won't initially feel as comfortable as snowboard boots, what they will feel as they break in is they'll get more and more comfortable. Keep in mind that overbuckling the boots will cause the compression of your blood vessels to distribute blood to your toes. It will cut off your circulation, causing the boots to feel like they are way too snug and causing your foot to feel like it's going numb. You want to buckle the boots so the buckles hold the boot together, not so that they become a tight vice or they become all of the fit.